G'day everyone, we're back with another quick review. This one here, I've got the Faber-Castell Black Edition. Now, I have the 24, and of course, since the time that I purchased this, they have come out with the 36. As you know, I like 36. 36 is normally the number I go for, but I bought these um, when I thought that they was all that there was. So 24 is what I'm going to do. So let's have a quick look at what they say. It says, extra smooth, super soft lead for rich, pr brilliant colours, ideal for light coloured and dark papers. This is the colour range here. I um, I grabbed these, and well, the reason why, I, well, I've had them for a while, and I'm like, I'm going to review them, because I need to know if I've got a, if I'm going to have, you know, full set syndrome, if they're worth me being upset that I am um, losing them. So I'm just going to keep them in colour order. And let's have a look at the pencil. So we've got here um, that it is made in Brazil. I never knew that, well, there you go. And it is just got the name on it. It's the same shape as the um, Ergosoft, so it's a triangular shape. Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice kind of shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shop in them and then come and um, have a look at how they lay down. So let's have a sharpen and see what they look like when they sharpen. This is my DeWint crank handle, which does not want to work for me. So that tells me that the lead's a little bit harder. I'm um, trying to sharpen that, which is a little bit odd actually, because it's usually much easier to sharpen than that. Maybe it's because I was not putting it in a position that's easier for me to actually hold it down. There we go. So it's sharpened, but the, the wood is very hard. Um, the, it was definitely really trying to chew through that wood. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to sharpen them and then swatch them. And then I will come back and we will go on to the next stage of the review. Okay, so we're back and I have swatched out the 24. Now, let's see how we go with the continued um, uh, review. But I liked how they laid down. 
they are very vibrant um, and they felt nice to lay down so we're just going to go into the next stage which is doing the um, comparison so we'll go in and do that and then I will oh, look I can't even organize myself all right and then I will um, do that now how much were they I believe here in Australia this is the Faber-Castell black and I believe it's about $19 for the 24 and I think it's about $29 for the 36 I think it's something along those lines um, if I remember correctly so what did they claim they claim obviously that it's super soft which they were very soft um, brilliant colors definitely had brilliant colors um, you know, again, the general thing with a lot of the budget brands are the lighter tones, but um, that just means you just got to come back. And light, dark, or coloured papers is what it's for. So, um, it is. We will see how that goes. So, I'm going to go do the blend test here. I will run some water across the top, see if it moves with water. And then I will put it over the black. Going with the black edition that's supposed to be over dark, hopefully it comes up more opaque than the other ones that we have done. Um, and we will have a look at that at the end. And um, I will color in this Duvalaki. And then we'll talk about what I think at the end of it. I will be back.
Okay, so we're back and we have done all of the comparisons and you can see straight up that um, we do have very vibrant colors. Um, I will give them that, they are brilliant. Um, I got about 14 before I really started to feel the slip, um, that wax slip, they're definitely a waxy pencil. They feel a lot like mm, Black Widows, okay? So they've got a smoosh factor, okay? I like to smoosh pencils. Depends probably on, on what kind of way you color. Um, but they definitely got that softer feel to them. Opacity. You can see that, in fact, they are much more vibrant on the black than the other colors are. So we've got that. And so this is... And then we will bring these ones over as well. And you can just see that they are... They are quite bright the ergo softs would probably be the ones that i think have a similar like i guess opacity brightness to it where you can truly see the color that's coming through without the black dulling it down too much um coloring again you can see they smoosh together i didn't have to do a lot of layering to get the colors to come through very vibrant um you can see that they fill in the tooth easily with that smooshiness you know that softness and i guess that is it do I want the 36 now? Yes, I do. I, am I going to have to talk myself out of it? Yes, I am. Because do I need more pencils? No, I don't. But that doesn't mean that if there isn't a sale, um, if I see them on sale at um, Big W or something for, you know, 25, 30% off or something like that, I will probably end up buying them. Because I'm like, eh, you know, I'd imagine this. It depends on what the extra colours are, but a few more browns would be good. Okay, so if we look at the 24... I think we're fine. Yellows, oranges, reds, fine pinks, purples. There's a decent amount of blues. I reckon some more greens and some more browns would be bomb. And, you know, some pastelier colours, perhaps. So it'll be interesting to see what's in the 36 set. But yes, I will um, definitely be keeping an eye out for a sale that I may be able to purchase them in. All right. As always, thank you for checking in with me and watching. I um, hope it helped. I, I don't sit there and say whether they're good or bad. It, it just depends, I guess, on, on the way you colour and, and the way I colour. I am a heavy-handed, smooshy person, so I, I kind of like them. And I will leave it with that. As always, remember, be kind, be strong, and be a warrior. And I'll see you later. Bye.